Hi, how's it going? My name is Casey Holt, and I am here as the LGBT Initiatives intern here at the University of Missouri St. Louis. So I am so excited to be here because, for one, it is Pride Month, and I am so uh, I feel really good being trans right now. Um, I identify as trans, masculine, non-binary, and I use they/them pronouns. Um, that's about all I got for that. <laughs> um, so besides being the LGBT Initiatives Intern at UMSL, I am currently the Graduate Assistant for, Center, for the Center for Student Diversity and Inclusion at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, and I am a sec going into second year student um, at, um, in the College Student Personnel Administration program at SIUE, essentially meaning I want to work with college students for the rest of my career. <laughs> so I am uh, especially I, here today because I want to talk about binding. Um, it's something really important to me. It's an issue that I think is super important here in COVID-19 um, because breathing is hard to do, um, especially whenever you wear chest compression garments. So um, in my transmasculine journey, I identify as female to non-binary. And I something that makes me unique in that aspect, well, not super unique, but kind of unique, I don't want to go on hormones. Uh, that was just never my thing. Don't really, I like how I am, kind of except for my chest. So that led to me discovering this wonderful thing called binders. And I want to start talking about binders and tell you all a little bit about them and how to be safe. Um, also, it's been hard for me to make content because I really don't want to take up space that is better reserved for other people. So I haven't really figured out what to say, but I wanted to um, say I'm speaking from the heart. Black lives matter. Defund the police. I think, yeah, that's what I gotta say. Black lives matter. Black trans lives matter. So um, I wanna do a little bit of good by talking about binding <laughs> um, and it is, Pride Month and COVID-19. So, whoops. But on the bright side, I just scheduled my top surgery consultation at uh, Park Crest Plastic Surgery in St. Louis. So I'm super excited about that. It's in November, first step. <laughs> so um, first off, you can see right here, I um, have made kind of a, I would call it a script. So in this script, I talk about, um, so obviously I introduce myself, but it's also going to be available on the EMSL website. So um, GC2B is my company that I purchased binders from. Other companies I recommend include Underworks, Tea Kingdom, and Heroin. I would not trust cheap binders on Amazon. Do not trust those. They are usually poorly made. They can have buckles and can be incredibly dangerous. Um, binders that are also too tight could pop a rib and cause permanent damage, preventing you from having top surgery. So in the time of COVID-19, it is so important that we take care of yourselves with binding and breathing. So um, always make sure you pay attention to the sizing guidelines on the website. So in order to measure yourself for a binder, you first measure yourself around your chest, and then you measure yourself from shoulder to shoulder. And it kind of shows you how to do that. Just make sure you measure yourself. If you, again, if you bind incorrectly, it could ruin your potential of getting top surgery. So it's crucial information. So I'm a size XL. Um, I wear a size 3XL. I'm the only one I know who does this. I choose to wear binders two sizes up just out of comfort. <laughs> so I work out um, in the, whenever with two sizes up. I wear them on a daily basis. I want to be comfortable. Um, essentially, if I'm mostly flat, um, that's what I care about. I don't care if it's not perfectly flat, but um, so that helps. Um, I also wear uh, binders 2XL on days that I'm particularly dysphoric, and um, also I wear them to swim, 2XL binders. So, and again, my size is XL. So I want to show you guys a couple pictures of that. So first off, this is me in the trans flag binder, and it is a 3XL. So here it is, it's popping up right now. There it is, there I am smiling at you. So this is a 3XL binder from GC2B. So you can tell it's a little bit loose, especially around my stomach, right above my um, abdominal area. So um, it's loose, um, but it does a pretty decent job of flattening my chest. Um, 
And honestly, I'm really vibing with the colors. I love those colors. I love the trans flag. So then here's the 2XL and it's loading. So you can tell it definitely is tighter. It's especially tighter above the abdomen. Um, I felt really good in it. Um, I use this binder to swim, so you can swim in GC2B binders. Just make sure they are at least a size up. Um, and personally, I choose to swim in a size up instead of two sizes up because the two sizes up are so loose on me that I'm kind of afraid they would uh, come off while I'm swimming. <laughs> but there's that. Um, so for GC2B binders, I kind of already talked about how I measured. Um, so wear your binders when they're clean and if the binder is too tight and causes pain, return it for another size. Please, please do so. So, um, and let's see, I, like I said, I feel most comfortable in 3XL. So, and then I also want to provide you guys a couple other resources. Um, I also talk about how to um, dry binders. So you want to wash it on a delicate setting, and put it in a machine dry for seven to 15 minutes. And uh, thank you so much for being here. It really means a lot. So my email is k-a-s-e-y-h-o-h-l-t at gmail.com. Another email is k-h-o-h-l-t at s-i-u-e dot e-d-u. So I'm open to either one. Um, and I wanted to provide a couple other topics and also some potential future topics, as you can see. Um, if any of you would like to see a video made, please let me know. But this will be up. Um, as well and like i said these were just a couple of my other ideas but i'd love to hear what y'all would like me to make so thank you so much for watching it really means a lot and have a fantastic rest of your day